it's Dana. So I wanted to share my um, key sunglass collection with you. I have quite a few. I have seven actually to share with you. So um, I'll just get started. Okay, so my first one that I wanna share, I wear this every day. These are the uh, Key Somerset in Gold Smoke Mirror. These are my favorite. They're always in my work bag. I really love the strong bar brow bar here. Um, and I love that it's really big. Back in the day when big sunglasses weren't cool, I had to shop in the men's side of things because um, my face is really wide and my head's really big. So I used to wear a lot of men's sunglasses, but now that it's cool and in, and mostly all key sunglasses are, um, are oversized, they all look really cute. So these are my favorite. Um, they are only in Bloomingdale, actually. You can't get them in the key website, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, these are the summer sets. Like I said, I always keep them in my bag. Or if I'm hanging out with friends, these are my jam. Okay, so the next one, um, these are very popular. Let me buff them out for you because they're a little dusty and dirty. And they're kind of mirror, so you'll see everything on them. But these are my second favorite. It's the key... Um, Times Desi Perkins black and silver. Oh, so good. I saw it on Tenny Panosian in one of her um, Snapchats and I was like, I need those in my life. But it's um, like a mirror sunglass. You can see that it's pretty flat on the side. Um, unlike the other ones, these actually have rims to them. And as you can tell, they're pretty oversized as well. So I'll hold them side by side. Ooh. They look kind of the same size. I mean, I can look up the, I can actually look up the dimensions on. I like uh, these better just because of the strong brow bar. I um, got these first. I was super obsessed with them and you know your girl needed a gold version uh, for the summertime. So I got the gold version as well. These are fantastic. I wore them in Cancun. They're really great for the beach, um, but they pop a lot of the bright colors that you wear in the summertime. But this is gold on gold. Again, you could see it's really flat um, on the front. And uh, one other thing is that you can see these t uh, triangles here. I think she was mimicking the Porsche aviators and I can put a screenshot of what I'm talking about. But I mean, up close, they kind of just look like plastic pieces. It doesn't look like it's actually holding the glass in. Um, but it's still super cute, girl. So cute. So I'm going to go into my um, dog walking sunglasses. These are also key times uh, Desi Perkins. These are so busted and I think the reason why she doesn't, um, these aren't sold on the website is because they're pretty shitty quality. They look really good. Um, let me look up the name of these really quickly. On the low. So these are one of the first, uh, this came out with her first batch of um, sunglasses that she had when she collaborated with Key. Um, I really love the masculine look of this. It's kind of similar to their current, um, what's it called? Key times, it's not, I'll just, I'll just put the name right here, okay? Um, but it's really shitty quality. like the um plastic broke here so occasionally the the lens would just fall out um and then 
it's like there's like a sunburn here like it used to be matte black and the the layer of matte is now peeling on the top from the sun <laughs> it has a sunburn so it's like peeling stuff here and then like cracks here um but it used to be really cute um this i really like this side it's like a rose gold side so i use these now to walk my dog or like run these are my i don't give a shit i'll just throw these on type of sunglasses but um I kind of understand why they don't sell them in the key website because they're pretty shitty quality. So I just wanted to give an update on the on the lows with Desi Perkins collaboration with Key Australia. So uh, to my surprise, after filming on November 6th, I checked my Snapchat. So I follow Key Australia on Snapchat and I saw that they were bringing back the most requested sunglasses from Desi Perkins including the on the lows um, along with high keys in a smaller version they're calling it the mini versions rather than the oversized that we see or uh, that were originally sold uh, they're calling these the OTL 2s so they're coming back in two colors the first one is a brown tortoise with brown fade look. The tortoise is in the very bottom of the sunglasses and they still have the gold, rose gold arms to it. And the other color that they have is the original color which is the black and smoke. And the sunglasses also still come in the original gold, rose gold arms to it. So I was very surprised to see that since they had stopped selling these for quite some time and I noticed in the description box I highlighted a, a section that was very interesting to me. So they had said, even more notable than its new look, OTL2 has been refined with enhanced materials and optimal quality in mind. So I thought that was really interesting. I wonder if they made these sunglasses a lot more high quality than the last one since they did not bring them back after they sold out. So I just wanted to come back and share that update with you guys. Okay, so the next ones are very underloved. I've only worn them once out. They're called Key on the Prowl in black and silver. And it's similar to the On the Low with Desi Perkins. Um, but it actually has a really thick side. What I really like about these sunglasses is that they're super masculine, so you can wear um, workout clothes or just any clothes, and it just gives this like cool masculine, uh, I'm wearing my boyfriend's sunglasses look. Um, there's a mirror silver front to it, and then the, the sides are matte black. I should wear these sunglasses more. I never wear them, um, but they're super cute. You could tell that they give you a lot of um, UV coverage if you're really into um, covering your eyes from the sun and the UV rays and you don't want the crow's feet on the side. It really gives a lot of coverage, not just in the lens, but in the actual arms and the uh, area of the sunglasses. Okay, so my other ones that I rarely wear that I really love are the, um, it's the collaboration that Key had with Crispy. Ooh, these are so cute. They're like cat eye sunglasses and the lens is kind of like a rose pink. They're so cute. And when you move your head, you can see sort of like a yellow. There's like a pink to yellow hologram, or holograph, sorry. There's a pink to yellow holograph to it. It's so cute. I rarely wear these though. I always go uh, and grab the aviator. I don't know why. Um, the ones made by for Bloomingdale. Okay, so the last ones, ooh, my hair, my hair is a little crazy. So the last ones that I have to share with you are 
um, also a collaboration with Christy. I'm not a big fan of these. I really love these on other people. These look so cute. And what I really love about these is that it has that classic 1950s or 1960s CIA uh, detective type sunglasses that you see in Hollywood. But it has a twist because it has sort of metal pink uh, frames with rose gold lenses. However, on my face, I always buy these sunglasses and I can never pull them off because it just looks so bad on me. Um, just because my face is super white and square. It doesn't look that cute. It makes me so sad. I, I think it looks better on people that have um, a pointier nose, not as a flat face or not, their faces aren't that, as flat as mine. Um, but it just makes my face look flatter. So I think I might sell these in Poshmark, which reminds me, I'm going to put a link in the description box below of my Poshmark closet. I'm really trying to get rid of a lot of things in my closet. So if you want to buy these, I'm going to post them in my Poshmark. But I think they need to go on a face that can rock these because these are really gorgeous sunglasses. I just can't, I just can't pull them off. And that's it. So um, those are my sunglasses that I have right now. There are two that I'm eyeing right now um, that I've been really wanting, but I've been in this spree of not buying things. I just have a bunch of crap that I've been trying to get rid of. And I already have seven sunglasses and I've only been wearing one really. So it does, just doesn't make sense to buy two more but I just really want them. First one that I've been really wanting is the Cafe Racer, which is ridiculous because I kind of have these already. They're similar to these ones, except it's bigger than it. And that's why I'm like, I need it in my life. Um, I saw um, one of the girls from Pint Size Fashion wearing a similar type sunglass in one of their vlogs. Um, to Cafe Racer Key sunglasses and I really wanted it. Um, I really want the matte black and smoke, I think it's called, um, sunglasses, but $55 when I have these two that I rarely wear. <sighs> I'm just gonna see, you know, I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> I have other things to pay for, like my student loans. Um, the second thing that I've been really wanting that I've been holding off on are um, sunglasses that I actually don't have a style similar to these sunglasses and I'll put a screenshot of it, but it's called Modstar and they're these really cool 70s type sunglasses um, that are really cool for festival or just trying to look like that cool girl, cool effortless girl. Um, I question whether or not it'll look good on me just because you see my face. It's kind of, um, it's a unique face. I have a, a square flat face, so usually those small rounded sunglasses just look a little too hippie. Um, but we'll see. I still haven't bought them yet. And like I said, I only really give love to this one, the Somerset ones from uh, Bloomingdale. Um, I also wanted to share the holder that I put my sunglasses in. It really fits my sunglasses well. This is actually a, a cheese tray from Target. Um, but I really liked it because it was marble with gold accents. And so I keep it on the bookshelf by my front door. And I, like when I'm about to go out, I just grab the sunglasses that matches my um, outfit. So I just wanted to share the little holder thing that I made for it. I thought it was cute. But yeah, I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will probably be growing my key sunglass collection. Um, but these are the ones that I have so far and I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining.